Hello everyone and welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm Sarah and um, today I don't have my usual how-to video um, or even a how it turned out video uh, which my, is I usually share some kind of project-based um, thing that I've been working on but today I just wanted to tell a little story about something that happened and um, that is that uh, we have a friend um, who raises bees and has done so for a few years um, now I am not interested in keeping bees myself, but Rick and I had offered to her that if she ever needed um, extra space to bring a hive or two over, um, that she was welcome to do that. And late yesterday afternoon, she sent us a quick email and said, um, I have a swarm. Um, one of my hives uh, subdivided itself and um, I caught them. Can I bring them over to your place? And so we said, of course. So um, a couple of hours ago, uh, Chrissy and her partner Heiner brought um, their bees over and set up a little temporary hive. I'm going to show um, footage of that in just a moment, um, but uh, we're not really sure if this um, relocation has been successful because they weren't sure whether or not they had caught the queen. Um, so what they think happened is that the um, when a hive is doing really well, the queen, the existing queen, will lay a new queen cell and a new queen bee will be born out of that. And then um, if you can catch that in time, then you can take that queen bee and establish a new hive yourself. Um, but sometimes that happens and you don't catch it in time. And so then the uh, a chunk of the existing um, population of bees will split off with that new queen and try to go somewhere else. Um, Chrissy was able to catch most of those bees. Um, when they swarm, they, they clump together. And so you can actually kind of manipulate that swarm if you know what you're doing and get them into a box and take them somewhere. Um, based on the bees' behavior, after um, she got the bees over here and tried to put them back um, into a hive, we're not sure that she actually got the second queen. And so we're not sure whether or not um, we'll have a successful hive uh, relocation project. Um, but regardless, it was really interesting to watch the process of moving bees. I had never been up close and personal um, with a swarm before. Um, and actually it was Rick who was a little braver than I was and actually put on uh, the veil and the protective gear and got really up close um, when Chrissy was moving the bees. And so. Um, we have a lot of great footage from Rick, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, we'll see. I will uh, update the accompanying blog post and let you know um, what happened, but uh, the plan right now is that if the bees don't settle down and um, act the way that they're supposed to, then Chrissy's going to come back and collect as many as she can and put them uh, in with another hive that she has on um, her property. So regardless of whether this was a successful transplant or not, um, it was really interesting to see it. And um, I thought it would be interesting for some of you. I'm also gonna put some beekeeping resources in the show notes for this episode in case you're interested in keeping bees. There's lots of um, great information out there. Um, you can buy a lot of the supplies that you need on the internet. And of course, there's um, great YouTube videos on all aspects of beekeeping these days. So I'll link to a few of those as well, and you can check it out. So I hope you'll enjoy uh, the footage of bees coming right up, and uh, let us know if you keep bees. Um, we'd love to meet some other beekeepers, maybe interview somebody for the channel. That would be really fun. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week. And does the form just uh, swarm just manifest itself suddenly, or does it kind of give you some warning signs? <laughs> it does give you warning signs. Uh, they'll start to uh, raise some queen cells, and they're really distinguished cells that you can tell. Gotcha. Um, and this hive had them in it, and I made one split from it to try to get them to not swarm, but they decided to do it anyway. <laughs> so. You can go closer. Bees got to be. <laughs> So the box with the yeah, so this is, coming. Yeah, so this is just frames that we loaded up in there. And what I did... So no bees yet. Yeah. 
in but theory. I, there shouldn't be any. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a couple in there because what yeah. I did is from one of my active hives, I snagged a frame oh. that has open brood. Gotcha. So supposedly that'll uh, incentivize the queen to, to stick around, assuming that we have her in there. It's kind of says this is home sweet home it's the place you need to be so hopefully that that helps and that works but other than that they're empty frames some of them have honey just to get gotcha. them going the uh, farmer dairy farmers the farmers which we have around the house they are everybody starting to cut the grass so early now, you know, for multiple Yeah, for hay. And so that also has an impact on the bees. And it's not just here in Vermont, it's uh, all over the place. So I'm just leveling it up a little bit and yeah. I set it up so the flight path goes this way. Okay. So if you're working in here, okay. they won't even get in your hair. Gotcha. Once we get them in there, this is a, a feeder for them. Mm -hmm. I'll put some sugar water in there. Okay. Just to, to make it nice and cozy and give them a drink. Okay, moment of truth then. Come on, bees, stick around. We'd love to have you. <laughs> I hope. We captured, we recaptured this uh, swarm like three, four times from four different branches yesterday. Wow. Luckily, luckily they were. That was my next question is the I was trying to picture you guys running around like with a net or something trying to catch <laughs> a, a queen. Yeah, they cluster up. And so if you're able to drop the cluster right into the box with her in it, they'll yeah. all go in. Gotcha. Which I think is what we did, but <laughs> we'll find out. We just never know. Get her. Let me know if I can help. I'll drop this in a second. Is it also helpful that it's kind of a cool day right now, or? Yeah, it really is. Because um, can they hear. can overheat in yeah. these boxes pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. So, just put this on to give them a little bit more ventilation on the side and crack it open a little bit more. Okay. Get that off. Hello, girls. Almost smells like incense. I'm flashing back to my Roman Catholic <laughs> upbringing. <laughs> is, we do use um, we do use lemongrass uh -huh. to make things nice and friendly for them. Oh, I see. And we're also gonna. I didn't put any in the syrup, so I'm gonna put some in here while I'm doing it. So hopefully the queen is in that cluster. Yeah, if they're yes. not, they're going to find a new home somewhere probably. Yep. They won't okay. just create a new queen. Uh, in order to create a new queen, they need uh, fresh eggs. Because ah, gotcha. they start feeding her the royal jelly pretty, pretty mm -hmm. early in constructing the, the queen cell. Can what you hand me my brush? Nice. Um... I can't help, but hmm? it's getting late in the season, and they don't survive in the wild anymore because of the mites. Lynette, this is quite an experience. I have never been this close, and having them on me. One's on my hand right now. Yeah. Hi. And what's cool with working with the swarms is um, 
they're, they're usually pretty super gentle because one, as Heiner said, they don't have anything to defend. And secondly, they gorge on honey before leaving the hive, so they have honey stores to, uh, to start building fresh comb. Sorry, Lilo, this is pretty cool. This one has just been perched on my, my middle finger for the last two minutes. <laughs> Looks like they're going in the box. Oh, good. Guys, <laughs> no, going in the box. You don't want my phone, you want the box. You know, I've watched fascinated this process over years on television and never been this close. It's been the sound is like a small engine. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a really, it's a very relaxing sound. Yeah, it's actually, I, I find droning. Yes, I mean that's why they use the term. <laughs> Gorgeous. My new band is Brush Full of Bees. Can't catch it on the video, but the air is filled with bees. They are just buzzing around my ears and head and all over us, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Is there anything on that lid? Because I see them all around one. No? Okay. I thought maybe over here. Because they're around each other. Beautiful. Amazing. So we can leave the box right here. You yeah, want to leave it right here just then? There's something about your gloves that is uh, attractant. Notice how they're all over my the glove. They're not over any of my arm or sleeve, but only <laughs> on the glove. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> they are starting to swarm up on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to take a picture of that? <laughs> sure, hold on for a second.